Susanna J. Dodgson, September 15th, 2017. Sometimes you just have to have a cow video. Here are these contented cows hanging out, eating this wonderful grass, which is what grass is for. Grass should not be about decoration. So if you have any doubt that black forest milk and black forest cream comes from grass-fed cows, here's your proof. They're um, not skinny, are they? Not at all. Look at these looking at me. It's like, what the hell is she doing? Cows about, are about as intelligent as chickens which is surprising because they have much bigger heads and presumably bigger brains but um, their brains don't seem to really do anything here in the back you see people walking as I'm doing walking through the forests in fact that's where I should be why am I down here? I made a mistake, but what sort of mistake can it be when you um, come across a field of contented cows? Look at that. Look, they're, they're too contented even to stare at me, except for the ones lying down. And the sun's come out. Let's uh, get close to the grass. You can see what the grass looks like. Lovely cows. See the separation between the grass and the ground? It's gravel and there's grass. No concrete, just a very thin wire. It's probably electrified because they don't want these contented cows running around. Look how huge this one is. Maybe this one's pregnant. I don't even know what a pregnant cow looks like. But that sort of looks pregnant to me, I would say. Yeah, that's a pregnant cow. Look at that. Ah. Yep. And yes, cows do have horns. You don't have to be a bull to have horns. So now you know. These brown and white, I'm pretty wrong about pretty much everything, but I believe they may be Jersey cows. I'll check that out and I'll uh, put a correction if I'm wrong. You know, it's quite a nice life. I think I'd like to come back as a black forest cow. They milk you like crazy, but it's uh, such a pleasant life. These cows do not look stressed. They look very happy. I don't know at the end if they eat them, but you know, everyone dies. I know in Sweden they kill the cows after three years and eat them. Use the hide for leather. Look, there's a black and white one there, over there. Beautiful. Now they're all female. Well, there's no um, integrated bathrooms and living quarters for these animals. You're a female cow. You're all together. You make milk. You produce babies. And of course, producing babies is part of uh, 
having milk. That's what mammals do. They produce baby, they produce milk. As did I. But uh, nothing like these cows. These cows are bred to make lots of milk and high cream milk. And I know in Sweden, some of the cows, they produce as many as 50 to 80 liters of milk a day, which is incredible. In order to do that, they have to uh, eat an enormous amount and drink an enormous amount. And they go into a diabetic state, which uh, is not good for them. They can do that. These don't look sick at all. These are very healthy. Look at that beautiful. See, that's the thing. At the end, their uh, hides will be turned into carpets, floor coverings, leather jackets. We get to drink their milk. The cow is the uh, ultimate renewable energy source, and we're blaming them for the ozone layer. Look at that. Of course, they're nice to look at too. Haddonfield, we're not allowed cows in our backyard. Of course, I don't have anything like enough room. Um, and uh, I don't think I'd want a cow, but I would like a sheep or a goat just to eat the grass, eat the weeds, keep it clean. Of course, you can't really control goats the way you can cows because goats are way more intelligent than we are. This is why I don't eat meat. I don't eat any animal that's stupider than I am, which is chickens and cows. And I don't eat any animal that's smarter than I am, which of course is horses and goats. Sheep are stupid too. They're in the stupid category. Susanna J. Dodgson, Hinted Sarton, September 15th, 2017. You can see more on peacescientists.org. God bless you.